Hi everybody, Justin Doman here from Elite Audio Video. Early in the year, we brought you a pre-wire from Fort Worth, Texas that we were putting a lot of cool technology into. Well now, we're at the trim out phase. The house is just about finished and we're about 95% done with this house. And I kind of wanted to go through and show you all the different technologies that we've put in from Control 4, Just Add Power, Sony, Screen Innovations, Color Beam, Q-Motion, and several others. Um, so, we got a beautiful front door. When we walk into the front door, right around the corner, we have a Control 4 touchscreen. Um, we've got so long to get into the house. And when we do, we can click the security system and it will allow us to quickly arm or disarm the system. So if I click this button here, it's going to try to arm it. We have stay, we have away, we have stay instant, we have away instant. So whenever we click stay or away, it'll actually set our alarm and we'll need to leave the premises. Coming into the living room, we've got a lot of cool technology going on in here. Um, the one you're gonna see the most quickly is going to be our blue LEDs that we have installed around the room. This is actually a product called Color Beam, and Color Beam is a high-end lighting manufacturer out of Canada. Um, these here are their LED tracks with tapes, and they install flush into the cabinets. We route them out, um, install our tracks, and then put the LEDs inside there, and then we run all the different low voltage loads from this location back to the transformers that you'll see later on. Gives us a very cool effect. These can turn on blue, they can turn on white, they can turn on pink, red, green, whatever color you can imagine they can do via color wheel, which I'll show you here in just a few minutes. There's our island. We have a conduit underneath the island that goes back over behind the stove that we ran our LED wires to. And the same thing with under our kitchen cabinets. So when we come over here to our touchscreen, we have a web page module right here that will quickly allow us to adjust the color. So right here, we can see, see cabinets. I'm going to turn this to a pink. And then the island, I'm going to turn to green. And then the shelves will go to red. Now when we look over here, we've got pink in the back, we've got green in the island, and now we have red on the cabinets. Now it may seem like a lot of work um, walking up to the web page module, but that's just for extended control. From all of our control for lighting keypads that are by a keypad, we have these very nice keypads that are engraved. Um, it's kind of a silver finish with engraving, and then we got our white, snow white, um, keyless uh, face plates over them. So we've got buttons around that will quickly allow us to, I'll show you one over here, will quickly allow us to adjust what we have going on. So this one here says island. So when I click it, it's going to turn our island off. When I click island again, it's going to go to white. So now, underneath the island is white. If I click it again, it's going to go to red. And if we keep clicking, it's going to go to green, blue, purple, pink, um, whatever color we decide to program into the, the lighting. So it's very fast to turn on. We can literally go up. And we also have them on schedules. So every night, um, right at dark, these lights do come on at white. At Christmas time, between December. Uh, first and I think January 1st, they come on. The island comes on as red. The cabinets come on as green. Uh, our wine cabinet comes on as green as well. So that will turn on green. These lights are being taken and um, put onto a dimmer. That way this entire shelf will just light up the same color as the LEDs. Right now we got a lot of uh, light up in there. And then our cabinet over here will slide up right as well. And that's the same with other uh, holidays as well. Same with Halloween. Um, just different cool stuff that we can program into your system, uh, giving you a, a cool experience in your home. Um, right over here, we have Q-Motion Shades. This is another product made in Canada. 
Um, Q-Motion makes a very, very nice shading solution. Their motors are very quiet. Fabrics are very nice. Um, I have had no issues out of Q-Motion. Shades are one of the things that a lot of installers are very scared of just because there's a lot of moving parts. Um, we're still waiting on a few things to come in. One of them is a few screwless plates. But whenever I click shades right here, all of our shades will raise. We've got three over top. And we've got the three on the bottom. Now they are individual motors, so I can individually control every single one of them, just in case I want some sunlight coming through the first window and none coming from the other two to keep the glare off the TV. Um, we can do that. Outside, we've got motorized uh, drop down uh, patio shades. They are Sumphy, and our, as you can see, the tracks are already installed. We're waiting on a couple pieces from Screen Innovations to um, actually make those work on our Control 4 system. So in the next week or so, I'll get a few pictures of them down and up, maybe in a video. Up in the corner, we have a Luma camera, um, and we're waiting on our 75-inch Terra uh, TV from Samsung to come in so we can put it outside here in the next week or two. So when I come back over here, I push shades again. Our shades are going to go down. While we're doing that, let's go ahead and change our shelving to white. Over the fireplace here, we have a Sony 85-inch Master Series uh, 8K television. Uh, it's their top-of-the-line TV right now, and it is absolutely phenomenal. Below it, we have a Leon HZ55 soundbar. Uh, Leon is the industry leader in soundbars and sound quality when it comes to under the TV performance. If you have a big living room with super high ceilings and you don't want big tower speakers, get a Leon soundbar. They've got a couple different models. Um, the HZ55 is about their mid-level um, and they go up to the HZ Ultra, which is a little bit thicker, but it actually has seven inch base modules all the way across with tweeters that just sounds absolutely amazing. It's, it's to die for. Um, this one here is kind of the middle of the road. We've got a jail audio sub down here in the cabinet. Um, it, gives, it gives us very good bass. This is the Control 4 Neo remote. And I think I picked up the dead one. My apologies. There we go. My apologies. I actually turned it off whenever it was in my back pocket. It'll boot up here and we'll turn on this TV. In the meantime, we'll come over here to our touch panel. We can click the home button. All right. So from the remote control, we have an on-screen menu. When we click on-screen menu, it's going to bring control four up on our television. From here, we can watch, we can listen, we can adjust the lights. We can completely fill this entire screen with shortcuts and favorites and things that'll make your life easier. Um, but right now we only got the three because the homeowner hasn't actually moved in yet. So we want to actually give him a tutorial and we'll put some shortcuts on as we're doing it to show him. So when we go to watch, um, we have video distribution throughout the house um, made by a company called Just Add Power. It is a device that takes um, set-top boxes, changes them over to IP signal, and then anywhere in the house can pull them up from a Just Add Power receiver. So in here we've got three Roku players, we've got an Apple TV, we have a TiVo just in case the internet goes out here at the house, um, we have the cameras, and then we have a DVD player. So whenever I click cameras, from the rack location, it will actually pull up the camera server and allow us to see the cameras around the house. Whenever I go back, I can choose Roku. This will take a second to switch. The on. way you can go play on seven different teams is you got to make sure you're a maker. Sorry about that. A shooter. And for to get some time on Denver, I had to remote my back pocket on my last take, and obviously I had a few maker. bloopers. So we'll turn this down. I'm not going to reshoot this. You guys can laugh at me all you want. That's fine. And from this screen, we can adjust our cable. We use YouTube TV here. It's a streaming service. On YouTube TV, we've got our live channel guide. 
We've got what YouTube thinks that we would actually like. And we have a full library that will allow us to DVR all of our shows. We're gonna go back to the on-screen here. From the on-screen, we'll go to watch, or I'm sorry, to listen. And this is where all of our music sits. So we can choose Amazon Music. This is a service that I have um, installed um, with my username and password until they moved in. We can go to our stations. And then we can just choose something random here. Let's just go to today's hits. Now, today's hits will start playing here in the living room. So from control four, then we can quickly go through and add more zones that we want to play this same station. So if I play kitchen, now the kitchen is also on the same station as what the living room is. We go through and we can add some more stuff. We'll add the master bedroom or the bathroom. We'll add the bedroom as well. Um, now all these zones are all playing the exact same music. And then we can turn off the room if we don't want to play anymore. Okay. Coming into the kitchen, we've already talked about the color beam lighting. We have our control for lighting keypad over here. We have a lighting button for the light scene. We have an island button to adjust the color. We have the wine cabinet, we have music. So if we walk in here and we wanna to listen to our favorite Pandora station, we click the music button once, it's pre-programmed, it goes immediately to it. If we push it again, it goes to the next station. We can program up to five stations. It doesn't just have to be Pandora. It can also launch uh, AirPlay um, or Spotify that we can play music directly from your phone if you want. Down at the bottom, we have quick arrows so we can volume up, volume down. And then at the very, very bottom, we have a room off so the music and the lights will all turn off. Um, here, you can see Island it right now is lit up red. If I click it, now it's going to turn on white. We'll go to green. And that just shows you how easy the color beam lighting is to work. Same thing with the back cabinets, the shelves, um, and everything else. We have buttons for everything. Up here in the ceiling, we have our house audio system. These are made by a company called Origin Acoustics. The actual series of these ones are the D65. They're a very nice speaker. Um, got a six and a half inch driver, uh, tweet. Um, overall, Origin as a brand is very, very nice. Um, coming back in here into our laundry room. Wrong buttons. We have a Unify access point. Although it's right here, it's mostly for the theater and the garage that are sharing the same wall. We've got our Origin acoustic speakers here. We've got our lighting keypad. We've got our Qolsys alarm system um, that protects this entire house. Qolsys is made by DSC. It's one of, the, one of the better security systems out there. Coming out here into the garage. Oh, I missed a, a light switch. Coming out here into the garage, we have a 65 inch Sony OLED. So when I go here, we can Find the garage. It'll switch over to that room. Take just a second here because I'm hopping Wi-Fi's. So now when I click on screen, it's gonna turn on this TV. We actually haven't set this TV up yet, but whenever we go through and pull up our video distribution and do everything that it needs to. All right, the next room we're gonna go into is the media room. The media room has a bunch of cool stuff going on. Once again, we got color beam lighting under the bottom cabinets. 
around the screen and in the coves. You'll notice the star ceiling. Those are actually acoustic panels that are wrapped with a black fabric and then the LED stars are installed into them. The company is actually called Epic Sky Technologies. I absolutely love their panels. They go together very nicely. They blend well um, and the stars on them, you have different options and they just, overall, they're one of my favorite products that I sell. Up there, we got a Screen Innovations 133 inch uh, slate AT screen. It's a silver color, um, so you get better contrast, a little bit more ambient light rejecting so you can see the movie better with the side lights on. Um, it's a perforated material as well. Um, this allows for our speakers to be behind the screen. If you ever go to a movie theater or high-end Dolby um, movie theaters, you, ne you never actually see speakers. They're always installed behind the screen. So whenever you put a tower into a room or something like that, you're not actually imaging the sound the way it should be. It's meant to actually come from behind the screen. So when somebody talks, it actually feels like it's coming out of their lips. Um, you can't accomplish that with a center channel that's below the screen. Um, horizontal speaker channels or center channels are actually not very good. Even if you spend $5,000 on one, it's not gonna do the same job as what a, a very high quality in wall will, just because you get something called the comb filtering effect. Um, it always sounds like a box that's below the screen and that's not what you want. Um, so coming into the room, we have our lighting keypad. We have our lights that quickly turn our lights on. We have our screen right here. So if it's too bright in here, we can turn the screen on and off. I'll click it again and it'll turn on red. I'm sorry, white. Click it again, it should turn on red. Click it again, it will turn on green. When I click it again, it'll turn on blue. Same thing with our stars. We can turn our stars on and off. When I click that button, our stars turn off. When I click it again, it'll turn right back on. We have a room off button, so when we're leaving, we can quickly click it. It'll turn everything off. Um, and then we also have a codes button that will turn the lights on the codes different colors. This room is pretty unique. We have a Tyler in it, so we can actually watch four things at once um, on the screen. Um, and we have five different Roku's installed in here um, to allow for the Tyler to work properly and a dedicated one just for movies. Uh, in here right now, we're using a Plex media server. Let me switch over to our theater. So from the theater, we can quickly select our Roku. And in here we're running the Plex Media Server, so all of our movies are installed on a hard drive um, in our rack, and then all the Roku's around the house can access it. So it's very easy um, to watch all of our movies. Coming down below the screen, I'm not sure if we'll be able to see this or not. We've got a AV Pro Edge um, 4x2 matrix switcher that will allow the DVD player and two gaming systems to sit in here and switch back and forth. We've got two more HDMI's. We're just waiting on the game systems we brought over. Um, and we have Control 4 CA1 processor for our lighting um, and our Zigbee nodes. That allows all of our video sources, um, the DVD player and the game systems to sit in the room and then it sends all the signal back to the media equipment closet to come back over here. Coming in the side walls, we have Origin Acoustics. Um, those are LCR67s. Behind the screen, we have THTR69s. That was their top of the line until they came out with the Marquee series. Um, I, I really, really like them. They're a lot softer than what the Marquees are because uh, they use a soft dome tweeter um, and four six and a half inch drivers, which gives you a, a lot of good mid bass. Up in the ceiling, which you can't see because they're, the foam's cut out, but they still got the grill cloth, is two more D65 Atmos speakers. And then back here, we have our rear Atmos speakers. We've got a JL Audio E112 subwoofer. Um, it's one of my favorite subwoofers on the market just because the sound quality on it's unmatched and it fills this room with more than enough bass. Um, right now, we're using the JVC laser projector. Um, it's their entry level one. Um, $36.99. If I turn the lights off here, 
you can see the picture on it, even with the door open, is very, very, very bright. I'll just turn on a random movie here. Oh, got the wrong remote. Then you can see the picture quality as well as the brightness is uh, top notch. I really like this projector for an entry level quick um, installation just because they, uh, the performance value is very, very good. Okay. We still got music playing in the bathroom whenever we turned it on a second ago. I forgot my remote, so I'm sorry, but I gotta go get it. those who are still sticking with me after 21 minutes thank you i really appreciate it subscribe to my channel we do a lot of cool stuff okay it's going to take a second here we have a wi-fi access point installed directly next to the bed that way the homeowners get full 5g service um, in every room we've got our master bathroom I'm going to turn that off. All right, coming in here into the master bedroom, I'm gonna switch over my remote. We've got a Sony 77 inch OLED. Um, whenever I click on screen, it's going to turn this TV on. To our main control four menu. Just like the other TVs, we got watch, we got listen, we got lighting. When I go into watch, we got all the same options that you saw in the living room for us to quickly work with. Coming over here to our lighting keypad, we have our main lights, which will do our cans as well as our um, chandelier. And then we have our cove button. Let's go to blue. That will turn on our cove to a nice blue light. It's not overbearing, it's not too much. Um, with the white walls, it looks really, really sick. I'm really happy with the way that turned off, or turned out. So whenever I come back over here, we can turn the main lights off, leave that on, and we've got blue illumination everywhere. It's, I, we don't have to leave it on blue, we can turn it to white if we don't want the main lights on. So now we just got a nice, cool white light throughout the room without an overbearing chandelier or can lights beaming down at us. Just like the other rooms, we got a room off, we got a volume up and down, we got a music button, and then we got another security panel here that allows us to quickly arm and disarm the system. Coming into the master bedroom. Not a whole lot going on here other than some lighting, speakers, and TV, just like every other room. We've got our main keypad. We click it once, it turns on all of our lights. Instead of having 15 switches, we can do it all with one. Right over here, we have a Samsung frame, 32 inch. Uh, it's actually installed onto a cantilever. So when she's in the bathtub, she can watch the news, get ready, do whatever she wants to. When the TV turns off, it goes into a picture mode. Can't show you that right now because we haven't signed in with the Samsung ID, um, but they've got thousands of prints available. So whenever the TV turns off, it looks like artwork on the wall. We've got another one over in the office. So I'll show you here in just a second. Um, so once again, we've got our music, we've got our room off. So as we click that, Everything turns off.
Got our AV equipment closet, which we'll go through here in a second. We've got another Wi-Fi access point for this bedroom and this office. We've got origins up in the ceiling, and then we've got a frame TV here on the wall. So, as I go back through, we'll switch to the study. It'll take just a second. Our Wi-Fi is very low, so it's gonna have to hop over. It'll take just a second, but it will. So whenever I click on screen, it pulls up our control four menu for this room. So when I click watch, once again, got all of our Roku's, we got Apple TV, we got TiVo, we've got our cameras, we got our DVD, and then we got TV settings as well. So you're sitting there, somebody rings the doorbell. This screen actually pops up for 15 to 30 seconds. Um, allows you to see who's there without pulling out your phone and then you can go back to work and it'll automatically switch right back over. We've got all of our listening sources so if we want to listen to music while we work we can go right to Amazon Music we can go to our stations and then from our stations we can just click the first one that we want and it'll start playing in this room by itself. No. I know bass doesn't transfer the best through a small mic, but these speakers pack a punch and they sound very, very good on the high end. It's not too bright because um, they're not a metal dome, um, so you can listen to them for hours without feeling fatigued. So as we want to leave this room, actually we'll do it from the lighting keypad. We'll come right over here, we'll click room off, that turns off our TV, that turns off our lights, that turns off our speakers. So now we're ready to leave this room. There is the stock image that Samsung puts on their TVs, whenever it actually turns off in real art mode, you get a nice white border and then whatever artwork wants to be displayed. Not a lot going in on these rooms. We've got two guest rooms, just a basic Sony 55 inch OLED in each one. We'll go in here and we'll start discussing the AV rack. So in the AV rack, as you can see, you lead audio video, you see our address, go check us out, check out my Instagram, add us. Um, we have our Control 4 EA5 controller. That's the backbone of Control 4. There's four different models of their processors. You've got the EA1, EA3, EA5, and you have the brand new EA10. Um, the EA10 is whenever you get into more estates. Um, or if you just want a faster processor, some of the loading times on touch screens remotes does get a little bit faster. Um, so you can upgrade them to that. But once you get an EA10, you still have to have an EA5 for your music. Um, you'll notice we've got one, two, three, four, five fans, amplifiers, processors, video distribution, Roku's, they all create a lot of heat. One of the worst things you can do in a home automation system is let the heat sit inside your equipment and not blow it out. A lot of people will be like, well, I got fans at the top of my rack. That may be true. You may have fans at the top of your rack, but the equipment actually has heat inside of it. It sits inside the equipment and you have to pull it out. So that's why we put fans directly over everything, blowing forward to really keep these things nice and cold. Um, right below that, we have our network switch. Um, it's an Arachnus 16 port. We've got our Triad Audio Matrix. That is a brand made by Control 4. It's our audio solution. It takes 16 sources, or sorry, 24 sources and 24 outputs. So you can have up to 24 things plugged into it and you have 24 zones of audio output. So you have literally 24 different rooms of music playing. If you wanted more than that, you stack two of those together. Um, you can get 48 zones of audio if you want. Um, below this, we have our house amplifier. Um, this is eight zones. Um, and then right below it, we have two more uh, amplifiers. Those there are for our uh, Leon soundbar, and then just another zone of audio because I didn't want to use a four zone amp. Um, these are a lot more powerful than what the eight zone are. These are about 200 watts a channel, whereas this bad guy, this bad boy right here is about 75 to 100 at the max. Um, this is our Just Add Power Tyler. 
What it does is it allows four images to be split across any TV inside the entire house. So in the theater, for say, we could be watching four different football games. We could have two football games, the cameras, and another door of the Explorer on for a kid who's in the room as well. Um, however you wanna set it up, you can do it. We've got our video distribution um, through Just Add Power. These are all the sources we have. This is the network switches that allow for those to work. Down below, we've got our Sony DVD player. We've got all of our Roku, we've got our TiVo, and then we've got our Apple TV. We actually got two racks, so I'll show you the second one here in a second. I'll kind of show you guys how we wire racks. We care a lot about our quality um, and how we go about things. We don't rush anything. Uh, everything has to be absolutely perfect before we leave a house. Um, you'll notice all of our wires are completely straight from the top all the way down into the rack to the components. We use a cable comb to ensure everything is straight and nothing gets mismanaged. All the HDMI cables have service loops, all the Cat 6s are custom cut and custom made. Uh, we've got our watt box power center down at the bottom that allows us to um, turn this rack on and turn it off from away in case something gets locked up. We've got all of our power cords here. All of them are custom made. Um, that way we don't have just excess power cord uh, to manage. It just keeps everything real nice and clean. Um, this is what we call our gold standard rack. Um, it's mostly what we do. So coming in here, we've got the devices that we don't necessarily ever have to want to see or touch. This here, let me pull this out just a little bit. We've got our uh, hard drive storage for the entire house. This is what our movie source server sits on. It's a Synology um, drive, and we got uh, 16 terabytes of storage in it currently. Right above that, we got our Morantz receiver. That's what runs the theater. You see another little AC Infinity fan on that. We've got another network switch to run this, and then we have our camera server right above that. Let me push this back and in, and then we'll go over the color beam. So this is all of our color beam LED drivers. This is what runs the color through the entire house. So each one of those keypads, whenever you push a button, it sends a code to the control four. The control four then sends a code to the very top, to the DMX, and then to the appropriate driver to allow for the color to change to whatever we specify. Coming over here, at the very top, we have our, our router. I'm sorry, not a router, our modem from uh, Spectrum. Below that, we have our router. Um, that is a Arachnus 310 router with OVRC built in. We have our PoE switch for our cameras. Um, PoE switch right through here for all of our access points. And then down at the bottom, we have our another network switch for all the TVs in the house. Below that, we have another OVRC unit. Um, watt box control that allows us to individually cycle each one of these switches, router, and our modem at the top. You see these switches turned out really nice. I really like the single ones. You can see what they're labeled as. You got the snow white, you got the silver. Overall, this entire project turned out really really nice um, leave some comments down below what you think um, as i said we got a few things that we still have to finish a couple plates that have to be installed just because they were on back order um, hopefully next week those will be done our subwoofers in they, that came in today we got it all nice and tuned up um, we have a light switch going in this wine cabinet still to turn those off and uh, to turn those off and on so our leds shine a lot brighter um, but overall i mean technology wise we have a little bit of everything installed into this home. We've got indoor shades, we've got outdoor shades, we have a brand new Sony or Samsung Terra TV. We've got the top of the line Sony, we've got a Leon soundbar, um, and all of it flawlessly works together with Control 4. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them. I'm here to help. So once again, this is Justin with Elite Audio Video. Please subscribe to our channel and like our video. Thank you, bye.